Hmm. Monster Harvest on the PlayStation 4. This is a research stream of a game that was obtained from the Carroll County Public Library System of Maryland. Uh, this is a PlayStation 4 game. You're really going to see the power of the PlayStation 4 in this game. Right off the bat, uh, this menu is extremely sluggish. Like, very sluggish. And the tr I thought the trackpad was available. Well, it's not working anymore. That's perfectly fine with me. Yep, yeah, this menu is not very responsive at all. Uh, sound. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. Music seems okay, actually. But look at the inter like the interface is bad. Like the like it's hard to tell which button I'm actually selecting, right? Like there should be the board there should be like a border or something. This is it's like a very amateurish menu screen. I don't know what's going on. I literally just started this game maybe ten minutes ago, so we're not gonna worry too much about that. So I will be T. Well, I'll be Chichala, obviously. We'll work that out. As usual, we gotta go Black Panther. Just like in Stardew Valley. Yeah, whatever. We'll stick with the Chala. God, this menu is so terrible. Two L's. Is it going to be that hard to get two L's in the name? Like I said, I'm, I'm establishing this because this was odd when I first played the game. How unresponsive the menu was. Wakanda Forever. Uh, on a related, on an unrelated bit of news, I got myself my first... Well, it's my second Sega Genesis. A mo an actual, actual, factual Sega Mega Drive. Model 1, of course. So, monoural output, but I'll probably hook up the, uh... I'll probably hook up the headphone adapter to the DVD recorder, because I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try and get some, uh, stereo audio out of this thing. I gotta clean it up, though. I mean, it's not dirty, but I'll, You know how it is. These are cartridges. You gotta clean your games before you play them. Are the guys masked? I think the guys are masked. <laughs> Well, the game came out in 2021, so I guess it makes sense. You know how it is. Stardew Valley, your uncle, father, grandfather, whatever, left you a farm. Land transfer, amazing. It's like in the old days, people used to be able to own land. I don't know. I, I can speak to that. We're fake. I have family members used to own land out in East Texas, but, you know, it wasn't exactly, you know, a thriving community. It wasn't exactly, they weren't exactly making a lot of money on those farms, if you know what I'm saying. Planable points. Yeah, the farm's always overgrown. We're gonna have to, we're have to spend two days trying to clear out this crap. I don't know where to save the game. There's no way to, this game didn't come with a menu. This game didn't come with a manual, obviously, because no games come with manuals these days. But the question is, how do I save my game? Oh yeah, watch this. Look at this. What is this? It looks like the V sync is broken. Like what's going? What's in this black void? <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. So I can't go to sleep yet. Uh, let's see. Pause. Select items. That's fine. Like even the interface, like like it's just the lines are pointed. The buttons, like the pause button is for options. Okay, fine. But you press L1 and R1. You press L1 and R1 to select items. I don't know if L2 and R2 were used for anything. You can roll. <laughs> you can dodge roll in this game, like Hades. God of War on the PlayStation 2. So there's no way for me to save the game. The clock's still running. Oh well. Let's get out of this black void. I'm playing this on a 40-inch television, by the way. I'm playing this on a 4K 40-inch television. <laughs> this is almost as absurd as me playing the Mega Man Zero Game Boy Advance games on the same television. Which I, I say as I clean off my Genesis. <laughs> I'm about, I'm about to hook this up to my uh, DVD recorder, which is gonna, which is hooked up to my 19-inch flat screen. It's a seven, it's a 768p screen, I want to say. But it, it's, it's how do I describe it? I, I think I thought it was supposed to be 1080p, but I think it's actually 768p. They just do some downscaling, I guess. 
because I thought it was a 1080p picture. I mean, it's still it's still a very good picture. I, I would argue it's better than the one I'm using right now. But, but this 4K Vizio screen is very good for most things. I have no complaints about it. Well, yeah, it upscales 1080p content just fine. I play all my PlayStation 4 games on it. So again, I can't save my game. Press L1 and R1, you had a switch. You can't, you can't destroy this grass. Don't worry about it. Now some of the logs are green, and the rocks are red. So you press L1 and R1 to switch to the different items. So we'll switch to the axe with the R1 button and mash this one. So we'll clear some of this out. I'm getting experience points for breaking these. That's kind of cool, I guess. This game runs at 60 frames a second, I suppose. <laughs> Gotta have it, am I right? Anything, anything less would be unplayable. We also have to till the soil with this hoe. I think every step I take consumes um, energy on the top left-hand corner of the screen, so that's not going to go very well. Oh, what games did I buy for my Genesis? Well, I got the cheapest games I felt like playing. So I got a uh, NBA Showdown, which I think was the last halfway decent, like, traditional 2D side-scrolling NBA game that EA made on the console, because the NBA Live games were isometric. But I've always been curious about that game. Hold on. Did it, hold on. I'm trying to... What just happened? I'm trying to... Yeah, the screen froze for like 10 seconds there. And then, it, then that menu popped up. I had no idea what the heck was going on with that. Should be able to play this with a D-pad. So I can look at the planable pens. So I guess I can put animals in there. There you go. Like I said, 60 frames. Three chips of wood for that entire tree. Absurd. But yeah, I got NBA Showdown. I think it was uh, FIFA, the first FIFA soccer game, I believe. It's like $4. And one of the yeah, I got F11 Interceptor, which is actually a simulator, a racing simulator. And I'm tired already. Can you believe it? Well, we're gonna go to bed in a second. Hi, birdies. I have no hearts. So I cleared out most of the soil, but I'm still running out of room. Uh, yeah, we're going to bed. Everything we do is going to be near the door, so we can just go to bed after this. I can't leave the path. Okay, fine. Hi, you. I, I am using them. I, I'm not able to... Where's the pond? Supposed to be able to walk. Oh, that pond down there. This music has like high res Super NES, Super Sega CD vibes. And then how do I fill this? I got nine seeds. We're not going to be able to farm anything, I don't think. What are we farming exactly? You have to hit, we have to ho till this soil. Good enough. We'll throw some water on there. Okay, we're definitely going to bed now. Wow, I barely got anything done. I'm already tired. Into the evening or next day and regain your stamina. Uh, we'll do the next day. Loading. Okay. No money, of course, because we're still tilling. So I gotta work that hoe. How we doing? 
So I gotta water these again. Done. I can barely see if the oil's been uh, wet. So that's not gonna be cool. There we go. So I got a full canister again. That F11 game that I got, I remember being uh, very highly reviewed in um, Video Games Computer Entertainment Magazine. There was a... Well, I learned how to make a chest. Say it with the chest. Yeah, but that uh, F11 game was a... There was a reviewer by the name of Howard Wen who was really sort of grumpy. Like, he would give, like, sixes and sevens to, like, Contra 3, The Alien Wars, which... I can respect as an old, as a grown man. <laughs> I can respect uh, giving, you know, generic side scrollers from the early 1990s B tier ratings, like mild recommendations. <laughs> Here we go. Any more rocks? I think I think we should probably just till, just till the soil a bit. Plant all these seeds. I mean, they're all the same thing, right? So you can see that the top two uh, squares have already been wet, so that's okay. Okay, let's make sure we water them all. So I'm out of seeds. In fact, I might be able to find that old uh, Genesis review a bit later. But again, I'm loath to buy a whole bunch of Genesis games because the prices are getting kind of stupid. So unless I know, like if there's a game that I know I like, like Star Flight, I'll try and get my hands on it. Star Control, I'm curious about. And I could just play it on GOG, but we'll see how it goes. The game's affordable enough that I could probably afford to pitch in about 15 bucks for it. I mean, the price of everything is going up for video games, so... You're ba it's basically a rental. <laughs> I think I was able to find Thunder Force 2 for like 10 bucks, but I'm like, do I really like Thunder Force 2? I tend to believe I don't. And I'm not getting any of the Sonic games, because I own like five copies of all the Sonic games. On PC. Or, I think, in console form, because they're on all the emulators I have. Say, all the, uh, what is it, the, P it was the PS3, uh, no, no. The uh, Xbox One and the Xbox 360 all got Genesis compilations. My Steam, I bought, I ended up getting a free copy of Sonic the Hedgehog on Steam. Because they were giving away all their ROMs. On St I think that Sega was doing some weird make love, not, make well of not war thing on Valentine's Day. So everyone got, like, what was it? Everyone got Jet Set Radio on the PC for free. I, I played it on my laptop. I got a video of that on this channel. Uh, so, uh, what is it? Gunstar Heroes I got as part of that same deal. Yeah, I'm tired. I gotta go to bed. Show me the way to go home. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Yeah, we're done. Is the, is the game saving any at any point? I don't know where to save the game. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, if I'd known that, I wouldn't have watered anything. Triangle. Uh, nope. So there's no, like, what's the dry season? There's no, like, weather forecast? Because I want to say, yeah, Stardew Valley had a TV that at least showed you what the weather was going to be the next day. What are they doing here? I don't know what I'm going to do with all these rocks. So, level one. Yeah, I can't sell my tools. Well, I guess I can sell rocks, actually. Don't sell the whole thing. I guess I can get some more. How do I sell, like, a small amount of them? Like, what if I don't want to sell this whole thing?
Yeah, how do I just sell like one of like one of them? Where the the cursor seems to be broken too. What the heck's going on with this game? One, two, three. Three. The D-pad is broken, too. I don't know what's going on. Just a second. I'm pressing the right on the D-pad. One. 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 Left. Left. It took me... Wait. Left. Left. Right. It's... Sometimes I'm pressing it three times and it doesn't respond. I don't know what's going on with this menu. Such a mess. So how do I sell it? I'm not trying to sell my tools. I have to put it up here. Well, how do I put a tiny amount here? Like if I don't, what if I don't want to sell all the rocks? Yeah, I don't want to sell all the rocks. Just like one of them. Unless I'm selling all the rocks now. Again, stuff I wish the game would have told me. Triangle? No. Yeah, the D-pad is not responsive at all, really. Okay, this won't work. So I can't, like, I have to sell all the rocks? Like, is there a trick to this? Because I can't split them, I don't think. Yeah, in Stardew, you can kind of split, you can kind of split the stack into, like, you can, you can, like, move, like, just 10 of the 75 items you have. Like, you can split it up. Here, it's all or nothing. That's awful. What the heck are they doing? Boy, this game is broken. Mommy, I want Stardew Valley. We have Stardew Valley at home. That's what this game looks like. It's amazing how this basic interface just seems completely alien. Video games are hard, kids. Sometimes basic interface has to be fixed before you can do anything else. Like, just make like a mini game. Just so you can kind of learn the basics. Like, don't force people to, like, do every... Don't force, I mean, like, don't force people to go through these nonsense. You know, let me, I love a good simulator. I'm all about that. There we go. Kind of ridiculous. I think I should... I think I should, I should just be harvesting rocks at this point. Probably should have sold the ones I had earlier. I'm trying to make a fence. So I'm gaining experience. I mean, that's okay. What do I need a fence for? I mean, I learned how to make a chest. That's nice. I'm going to need that eventually. I mean, I'm going to need the rocks for all this. Yeah, what do I need to do to make a chest? Like up here. It's a fence. I need five wood. Okay. Let's put wood over there outside. But again, do I have to sell all the stone I have? I, mean, I would hope not. I could probably I could probably put it all in the chest. Well, let's practice that. I'm not upgrading the house. So if I want a chest, triangle button. There we go. L2 and R2 on the D-pad. Where do I put it? Right here, maybe? There it is. So I guess I can put these rocks at the put... Oh, uh, whoops. Wrong way. So the item on the left, when I press this button, that's the item that gets swapped. So I want to put it in the chest. I have to go up here. Ugh. This is a student game. 
This is like someone graduated from DigiPen. This is like a game you do for community college to kind of prove that you can make a video game. I mean, the art budget doesn't have to be great, but somehow this, this game passed PS4 certification. PS4, the best, best video game console ever made, apparently. Can I... Let me see if I can move some of these rocks out of here. Because I moved some of the rest of them to the chest. Not that. So how do I move, like, a tiny amount? First of all, move that over here. Yeah, I still don't know how to split these up. Yeah, I have no idea how to split these up. This is driving me nuts. I mean, we can leave a few trees out. I just kind of want to clear out some of the trees, because there are too many of these. Let's chop a few more down. This is driving me nuts. And what is the dry O3? Well, I guess 3 is the date on the calendar. Is that the weather forecast? Again, this game didn't come with a manual. So we're in the dry season. We're in the third day of dry season. Okay. I don't know what the green crap means. Can I go up here? No, I can't. So I can't look at the calendar and figure out what the heck, try to parse what it even means. Mutato seeds. Again, can't make any sense of this. I'll we'll just play the game normally, then. We're not upgrading the house. Okay, so I guess we're chopping stuff down. Just so we can see where we're looking. Just so we can see... Just so we can see. That's the problem. But it's all the same kind of wood, right? Yeah, I like the blue trees. I mean, that's that's nice. Blue trees are better, better than blue grass, I guess. Wouldn't a blue, wouldn't a tree with blue leaves be diseased? Well, you gotta have your. At least we know the RGB color scheme is working. Yeah, nothing to see over here. So we're tired enough to go to bed. I mean, I guess I can put some stuff in here and chop down one more tree. Whoops. Yeah, I don't want to empty. I don't want to empty. I don't want to destroy I don't want to destroy it. Can I put the wood in here? I'll have to do it the old-fashioned way, I guess. Put that down here. Very sloppy. Not a fan of any of this. I guess we'll leave the stump. Five. Okay, we're going to bed. Let's sell this wood. Get paid. So we'll see how much we get for it. Very sloppy. It's gotta be a quicker way to do that. It feels like I haven't gotten anything done, but yet we're still making progress, I suppose. Shouldn't complain. So the wood's worth five dollars a pound. Yeah, pretty much like the rock. So they're both worth five dollars a pound. So what am I gonna do with all this money? Stuff the water, I guess. Yeah, I can't. This this interface is really sloppy. By the way, if the library has Stardew Valley, I've never seen it there. I might have skipped over it, but actually, no, they had the Xbox One version, so there is that. But I already own that. Not complaining. I got it really cheap. It was like 14 bucks, and I bought it. I'm not complaining.
And I still don't have any more seeds. But I guess I could go exploring then, if that's gonna be the thing. There's no map or anything. Yeah, I kind of like, like, the Paper Mario look. But my, the game might have been better served by doing, like, a Stardew Valley thing with, like, a higher angle. Like, a traditional top-down angle instead of this weird diorama thing. This, instead of this weird 3D dot heroes perspective they got going on here. Where the trees have to be transparent. Turn down. Let me turn off this PS. This Xbox One's been installing a bunch of games. I got some Kiwi game. I'm trying. What are we doing here? There we go. I wasn't paying attention to any of that flyover crap. I didn't install Starlet Nexus yet. I did play that game on the channel already. But I don't. I think I captured it at 60 frames a second. But I don't think the game is in 30, 60 frames a second at all. I got Epic Chef from the library. I got Kiwi, K E W W K E Y W E Kiwi, and there's a game called Invisible Hours that I installed that I bought about two years ago, but I haven't played. I'm getting to that point where I'm like. I have like more than 300 games in this house, so I'm trying to sell a lot of them. And I'm using the money to buy like Genesis crap, that should tell you something. <laughs> I'm basically renting Genesis games. <laughs> Howdy. This guy looks kind of shady, as long as he has a backpack. That every week there's new stuff. I guess I go, uh, I'm gonna need that back. I'm gonna need that upgrade at some point. Not yet. Cooking? I never, by the way, I never cooked in Stardew Valley. I just ate. Like raw. I was basically a vegan. A raw food advocate. I was, I was like a raw foodie, I guess. Six days to grow. Four days to grow. Do these come with sugar? Seems weird, but I'll take it. Yeah, I got sugar for some reason. I guess I didn't want the sugar, but I did I buy the sugar accidentally? Let me double check my money. 40. Yeah, I'm accident. I'm buying sugar. I'm pressing the button once and I'm buying radish and sugar. The game's making me buy sugar. Okay, check the dollar amount in the top left hand corner of the screen. When I buy this, it should I should have 480 bucks left. 490 bucks left. It's making me buy sugar. I, wow. The game's forcing me to buy sugar because it's bugged out. Wow. I can't buy the... If the game's making me buy sugar? It, it's a bug. Oh my god. I can't sell it. I have to sell it. The game made me buy sugar. How much money did I waste? So I'm trying to buy seeds and the game automatically bought sugar. Wow. Imagine if you were a kid trying to play this game.
Oh yeah, that Story of Seasons game is out on the PS4 in physical form, apparently. It's what Harvest Moon ultimately became. The Story of Se It was originally called Story of Seasons. And while Harvest Moon became its kind of broke off and became its own thing, Story of Seasons is what the traditional Harvest Moon games were, I think. Was this entire town like a North Dakota oil town that just sprung up because of the oil boom back in the 2010s? In North Dakota blew up about 10 years ago. Like, no, I don't have a thousand dollars. Oh, here, let's have some fun, kids. The D-pad doesn't work. So I can use the right stick. The trackpad doesn't work. The left stick doesn't work. So L1 and R1 don't work. So let's use the right stick instead. So I, this, I haven't been using this stick at all, and now they want me to use the right stick. No. What's going on with this game? This is this game is this game is an alpha. It's not even a beta. Well, oh, there's your map. The game is actually broken. Okay, I can't. I can't get water from this. I can't get a. I can't fill my kettle. That's cool, I guess. Gnarly. Jet Black. Uh, known jazz connoisseur. From Cowboy Bebop. I'm only... I'm, technically, I'm only six episodes in. But I'm watching the entire show in Japanese. For the first time in like two decades. Frankly, only the fifth episode is any good. The other episodes are like, they're either, they range from like, t decent to like, mediocre, so I was afraid of that. I think the show gets better, but we'll see how it goes. I think the English voice cast had better chemistry, frankly, but we'll get to that in another video, probably. Everything's locked. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this, this dinosaur fossil was in, uh, he's just chilling. I'm pretty sure that was in uh, Animal Crossing. Not the water, this. No. No. I'm wasting energy by doing this, by the way. So we'll just let it be. I, mean, I can interact with it if I have the right item. It's just minding its own business, I guess. Feed me. Yeah, it's like the uh, giant big box store in um, Stardew Valley. Yeah, that, yeah, it was that big Walmart-like box store in Stardew Valley. There's a mushroom I can't harvest. Well, it's a monster harvest, right? Yeah, this is a monster harvest game, isn't it? So I guess that's what's going on with Slime Co. They're building Audrey 2. They're, so they're building Audrey 2 and, um, to and Toad from the Mario King, from the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> I'm sure they're working their way up to Princess Toadstool. Has anyone had the conversation about why a humanoid is in charge of a bunch of mu like is she like a giant mushroom like a humanoid mushroom like all the toads, or is she like just some human who like? Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna have the adult conversation about the birds and the bees and the toadstools on this channel. Maybe later. Yeah, it was, I mean I'm sure everyone. I mean, so what is this? So so Samus. So what is it? Samus is a Chozo bird, an alien space bird, and Princess Toadstool is a mushroom. What else am I missing here? What is Pauline like? Is, like is Pauline a banana? I mean, what are we doing? I mean, why do you think Donkey Kong was so into her? I mean, are we, are we, is there something about Zelda? I need like is Zelda like a plant? No, I have to use the right stick for this. 
Get Zelda a plant. People are like, people are like, people are like winding up all the jokes they have about Zelda and are their favorite body parts. Uh, I guess Lance is the protector. I thought I was from the Dora Milaje. <laughs> Magical slime. So this is like that Dragon Quest slime rocket rocket slime game, huh? I did play. I did like that on the DS, but I never obviously I didn't spend much time with it. There were, I bought. I played like a dozen or so DS games. I never spent enough time with them. I sold them. I sold them by an Xbox 360. I want to say back in the day when I I didn't have to commute for an hour to get to work, so I didn't see the point of having any portable systems at that point. And nowadays, the, I don't play my portable system because I can't capture any of the footage. Well, I have a PlayStation Portable. I've, I, I made like one video of my PlayStation Portable. Because I still own a uh, Valkyrie Profile Lenneth, obviously. I mean, why else would you... <laughs> Come on, this shit... This, I literally have the Lenneth Valkyrie as the banner for my channel. And my Facebook. Did I miss something? Okay, I literally just walked out. <laughs> no, I came back in and we're on to some we're on to a new storytelling sequence. Where is the game saving, by the way? Is the game I hope the game better be saving automatically. We'll find out at the end of this video, won't we? So the evolutionary chart, it's an evolutionary dead end. You know, it's like if you cross a human with a monkey, you can't get a offspring. How do we know? Man, eh, don't worry about it. Automate. Good luck with that. I mean, we'll get a sprinkler at some point. Or maybe we'll create a monster. Maybe we'll create a monster plant that feeds itself. Maybe it'll like lure dentists into its uh into its uh garden and it'll just eat them. It'll suck their blood. The yeah, abusive dentist. Yeah, we can't do that. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all the sugar you made me buy. I literally just wanted some seeds, and the game the game automatically bought sugar at the simultaneously, wasting so much money. That that that's got to be a bug. How did that make to version 1.0? I said, oh, we'll fix it. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> we'll fix it in the download. I'm like, well, I'm not I'm not online. Obviously, this is version 1.0. Probably still a better game than um, Harvest Moon One World. I can't, I can't grab this mushroom. I'm just waste. Suppose if I accidentally press a button and swing my tool, I end up using energy. Maybe I can just water it. I need to figure out what the cheap uh, Genesis games are. Like the cheap Genesis cartridges, I know I'm gonna buy. Like I'm not just gonna buy a bunch of like sports games. I already know the baseball the baseball games apparently all suck. Like World Series base I played World Series baseball back in the nineties. I mean it was too it was too easy to play. I would get a home I would get at least I would get a home run every other inning. It was stupid. You would just you would just sit on a you would just sit on a pitch and just hold down the button and you would guess right like half you would guess right like seventy percent of the time. You would score a home run every time. Everyone was losing their minds when that game came out. I'm like, oh, the graphics are so amazing, yeah, but you know, because that it had it had two good. Sh it had, the the batter was set, the camera angle was basically like umpire height, or it was like it was like a catcher view. So they had this very detailed, highly articulated batter in the batter's box. So that was that was the primary image of the game. It was the one on all. It was the one in all the. 
all the magazines and all the artwork is on the back of the box. Like, this is how good this is how good a 16-bit sports game looks. You gotta sell the sugar. But as soon as you, it's like Baseball Advance with the same problem on the Game Boy Advance. But as soon as you bought the game, all you had to do was just sit on a pitch. You would get home runs all the time. I got some slime. Again, I can't sell parts of it. I have to sell the whole thing. Stupid. I have to press down. I press down on the D-pad a couple of times. And it might wrap around. It doesn't just wrap. If I press it once, it works. But sometimes, it, sometimes it's just not responsive. So I don't know what's going on with the D-pad. Sometimes it just doesn't respond. I don't know what's going on. So we're consigning all that crap. So we're gonna drop a few more seeds. I kinda wanna split them up. So it's obvious what seeds are growing where. Got a hoe though. Okay, so I got three of these. I don't think that uses any energy. Yeah, I don't think this uses any stamina. Watering does. And I won't be able to water that last one. I'm using my last out of energy to avoid watering one of my seeds. So we'll give it about five more minutes to see if the game is actually saving my progress. Um, $50 for the sugar. Which is, I think that's how much I paid for it. That's not terrible, but imagine running out of money because the game accidentally forced you to buy sugar. Because it cost me $50. Unbelievable. Again, I would love to know how to save. Again, the game better be saving automatically. Of course... This could be like Generation Zero. It could just be another one of those games on my channel. It's just so broken. <laughs> like, it's just so broken. That's like... It just becomes painfully obvious in the first, like, half hour how broken this game is. And it just gets worse. Astri Ascending, I played on this channel, too. After an hour, it became obvious the game was getting kind of broken. And after two hours, there were missions you couldn't even complete because the game would get stuck in a loop. I think I even downloaded a patch and it still was broken. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's a real blob situation. Mutanko. A red slime will always make it kind of planable. He is Groot. Okay, we'll figure it out. What's going on here? Nope. This does not consume any energy, so that's good. Yeah, it doesn't consume any... It doesn't waste any stamina. I can't interact with it anyway, so I don't know what's going on. Did it hurt me? Didn't hurt me at all. No complaints. Got a bench here for no reason. That's your boy, a bench manager. I can say bench do this and bench do that. Uh, I guess I guess I wasn't supposed to come here, but I'll take it. Can I get rid of the slime? I only want to get rid of one of the slimes, but whatever. Should probably keep all this inside here. House upgrade. I need stones. Why would I upgrade the house? More space and room to decorate. Couldn't care at all. 
couldn't give a freaking crap. So we'll separate these two. Well, let me separate them. Oh, sorry, wrong button. How did that end up over there? Did I, s I think I accidentally swapped places with it. Didn't mean to do that. Just a second, give me a moment. We're swapping. Okay, so that's how we're gonna have to do it that way, huh? We can't just split the stack. We have to like create different stacks. <laughs> that's how stupid we. That's how we gotta manage this game now, huh? Like just basic programming stuff. I guess someone decided they had to. Use, I guess someone had problems with their unit typing, huh? Without getting too geeky about it, apparently their data structures might be busted. I don't know. Like, how, how, like, why is that such a problem? Oh, yeah, I forgot to water one of these things. Give me a second. So we aren't gonna hoe, we're just gonna grow. And this does consume water, so fair warning. So let's do a thing. Let's not water one of these. Let's see what happens. I mean, it was free. Well, I'm out of, I'm out of, I'm out of liquid. So I'm only allowed to do 11 uh, squares. Is that what's going on here? I could also put this in the chest. Pretty sure I didn't select any. Yeah, put all your tools in here. Well, put the hoe in here. I'll move the sword over here. You might need the rocks and crap. I'll tell you what, let's have a little fun with the slime. We'll get more slime, but we can't put the slime in here. No, we I moved it accidentally. I don't remember accidentally moving it at all, actually, so I don't know what's going on. We'll figure it out. Excuse me. So if I want to sell one slime, I can't. I have to keep my inf I have to keep my inventory bar clean. It's like that, unfortunately. Unbelievable. What a mess this game is. Who knows? These guys, the, these de these developers, can go to become the next From Software. You ever play Kingsfield? <laughs> I haven't. Yeah, I'm not the least bit interested, though. Is it supposed to be like a first-person dungeon crawler or something? Like that? That doesn't seem in any way interesting. The dungeon is north of here, isn't it? What's this creepy shonen looking anime character we got going on here? Rupert Thorne? This doesn't look like a livestock uh, supply store. I guess we'll do a little bit of fighting before we end the video. We have about 20 minutes left, I think. Is the game gonna accidentally make me buy uh, some potion when I buy the herbal tea? Small amount, large amount. I have enough money for it. Okay, I only bought one. So we are gonna we are gonna get too greedy. We're just gonna sip on it. We're gonna sip this tea. No, I don't have enough money anyway. So I have to use the right stick to make a choice in the dialogue box. A simple yes or no question requires that I move a that I move the right stick. Oh, there's the cursor. The trackpad doesn't work here. What's the point of having this cursor? I have no idea what purpose this serves. Yeah, I have no idea what purpose that serves. Thanks, Misty. Uh, wild food collection. I got nothing. I got nothing.
Uh, did the game? T I think the game tells you uh, what season each plant needs. Again, there's no map, so you can press the trackpad to like swing your sword or whatever weapon you have equipped. Don't remember. I think the dungeon is north of here. They said. Yep. Where of dungeons? Okay. Thanks, Michael Clark Duncan. So how are we gonna do this? <laughs> you need to break out my Q-tips. I'm gonna clean these cartridges. Never can trust cartridges. Night. Fine. Guess I can go to sleep until night. Don't use up all my stamina. Looks like they might have hired the artist behind Stardew Valley to do some more art for the character portraits. But the devs added that later. <laughs> I would love to know if we play tested this game. It's like, yeah, um, yeah, we'll fix it later. We'll download a patch. We just want to make sure it basically works. <laughs> so in terms of visuals, I mean, we're we're in the we're in the F we're in the D minus tier of PS4 visuals. No. It's from the Nintendo Power Scale. I mean, <laughs> I mean, like the idea of doing like this diorama. Paper Mario look is cool and all, I guess, but again, stuff's always blocking the way, so it kind of loses effectiveness, which is less of a problem in Stardew Valley, if I'm being honest. So basically, I need to go back to sleep, so that when it's nighttime, I can do the rest of my crap. I don't want to. I don't want to waste any more energy like farming stuff. I guess I can still chop wood. I can sell wood. I can just sell some wood to shop. Didn't I see these trees in Mean 18? The old uh, golf game on the PC? <laughs> the old four color, 16 color golf game. I guess we're going to sell this wood. And stash the rest in the chest. $5 a pop. I mean, I do like the colorful leaves. I do like the red... I do like the RGB trees. <laughs> it's a nice touch. It's a flourish that, it's a flourish that doesn't require a lot of uh, artistic talent. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's, the kind of, it's the kind of flourish I would put in my games because I can't draw. Like, what's your art budget? Uh, me. <laughs> That's my art budget. <laughs> Let's go to sleep, see what we can do here. It's again just a mess. Interface is just a freaking mess. So we go to sleep until night. So I got back some of my stamina, but all, but not all of it. So we'll see how it goes. So yeah, this will be quick. Probably spend like five minutes in there than bail. But this is not looking good. Should I roll? I'm afraid to roll and use my stamina. Yeah, I press the square button to roll. Okay, so no stamina. So I expend more stamina by like tilling a hoe than actually dodging or swinging a sword. Video games. So this is going to be how I get around, huh? No wild food collection just yet. Does Joy have a beard? 
Not complaining, just observing. Yeah, I can't quite figure this game out. <laughs> it just seems like a mess. Like, it's, it's another one of those, but it's like you've already played Stardew Valley and you've already played Story of Seasons and Harvest Moon and every f and Farmville. <laughs> I mean, I just want to go in there, kill a few demons, and come out. Whoops, wrong button. Yeah, the sword uses no energy, but the axe does. Again, don't ask me why. Maybe it's a Deku sword. <laughs> yeah, it's probably made of wood. I'm sure it floats on water. I think the frame rate's dying. <laughs> Imagine, the frame rate somehow dipped below, four, somehow dipped below 60. I struck first. Slam your foe with fury. As we got the turn-based strategy game now. Use minor damage for multiple turns. Higher chance to miss. Penalty to be level eight. So I'm not at level eight. So I can't use any of that. So we'll just use slam for minor damage. Slam. Da 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 da. -da. So it's like Pokemon now. Is that what we're doing? Because I don't think my slam was super effective. I mean, I'm going to win. I mean, that ain't the issue, but... Yeah, I won't say it's super effective, but it seems to be working. Yay! I won the turn-based battle. Yeah, no art budget. <laughs> Not that it needs one. So I can't chop any of this grass. There we go. Get that loot. Super slime. I made a wood path. A completely cosmetic upgrade. Hooray. Is this what they want me to actually earn when I level up? Like, what, what could they at least teach me? Like, yeah, now you can choose what you want to level up with. You got to get the good stuff. I don't need stone. I need the good stuff. That's why I'm glad I put away my farming tools. So I have plenty of room now. Okay, it might be time to go to bed. I got my tea. Let's see how good my see how this tea do. Restore 50 stamina. I don't know how much that is. But I have to use the right stick, remember? That is that is a pittance. That is, no, that is nothing. I wasted 50 bucks on that. Unbelievable. And now I'm tired again. Garbage. This game is just a mess. Let's just leave can't be bothered anymore so the plan is to like farm all day then go to sleep or farm like half the day till half your stamina is expended actually don't even do that just go to sleep until nighttime then come here and just gather some loot I don't even want to sell this crap yes the other problem because I don't have a backpack I can't I can't split my stack triangle. Like the only way to split my stack is to like like I, can't, like I can't like I have five of these iron things right? What if I just want one of these? I can't move it. So weird. Well we're going I gotta combine these two videos. Let me I've not been playing this for Yeah I've been playing this for an hour. Okay so I'm gonna have to go home Save my game and see if I can uh, start the game from the menu. 
See if I can load the game from it. I want to see the game had better be downloading. The game had better be saving automatically. Unbelievable. Can't go that way. You can roll you can roll slash. Look at that. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Don't care about ore. Don't care about gold. I know that sounds weird, but I don't care about gold. So we'll sell that too. We'll probably get like 50 bucks for it, I guess. Which would make up for all that tea I just drank. Garbage. Freaking garbage. Refills a little bit of stamina. Hooray. We'll organize this crap later. Bizarre. Iron, again, so I'm going to keep that. But again, I can't split the stack. So I guess the strategy is to just take... You no, know, I don't know what the strategy is. Because I guess I need a backpack so I can split the stack. As I get it. So now I have to rest all day. So the gold ores were thir the gold ores were thirty a pop. Let's go back to the title screen and see what happened. Day six, okay. So that explains it. Yeah, uh, this thing's busted. It's just busted. <laughs> 